Hello, and welcome back to the Worst Possible Commander Show. It's me, it's CGB, and I'm here with my friends. This is Blake. Hey. This is Ben. Hello. And this is Shay. Hello. And we're here to play some brutal, ruthless commander uh, with our friends and uh, do the unspeakable acts of Magic the Gathering to them. So we call it the worst possible because we like to talk about the nastiest things our deck can do to each other, rule zero style. I'm bringing back Lara Croft Tomb Raider. This is a teamer deck that is going to take legendary artifacts and lands out of my graveyard and possibly your graveyard and use them for value. You might remember the time I used Mind Slaver a few times. Well, this time I plan to use Mind Slaver a few times and win. Mm. <laughs> I could also uh, play an Underworld Breach, and that both takes a long time and has some combo lines in the deck, so don't let me do that. If you value your time and your lives. Brain freeze? Maybe. Ah. And uh, Aggravated Assault, uh, I have the Reaver Cleaver in here, which is a legendary artifact equipment. If I combine that with my commander, I can often take endless combats under the right circumstances. So that's my deck. Blake, what do you have? So I brought back Derevi, and I'm making the Millennium Calendar happen again. You guys are gonna die. I'm gonna deal a thousand to each of you, and you're gonna die. I have improved the deck since then. I've realized it's better to have two defensive cards in your hand than zero, so I put some more in there to make it shape-proof. Ish. <laughs> Fogs? Ish. Fogs, mostly board wipes, and that sort of thing. And I'm gonna get to a thousand down here, and then I'm gonna kill you guys. Okay, the Millennium Calendar Pact continues. Ben, what do you got over there? I got Zeotora coming back for round three. Uh, and with him is Lord of Extinction to hopefully sacrifice him to Jared to blast all you guys by sacrificing him. Is that the one I stole last time with a tally? Maybe. <laughs> Nice. It's <laughs> not the one that attacked Blake on turn four. Or oh whatever. my gosh. <laughs> that There's you too killed much lore. Him. There's too much lore on this show. You guys have so many yeah. ways you've killed me. We're getting close to 100 episodes. There's a lot yeah, of uh, history. A lot yeah. of history for these decks. Speaking of history, Shay. Yeah. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh. It's Zyrus, the Writhing Storm. Uh, yeah, you guys know the deal. I'm going to try to make you draw a bunch of cards, and then I can make a bunch of 1-1 one -one snakes. Uh, for the worst possible, I have Wheel of Fortune, which, of course, will make you uh, draw a bunch of cards, and then make a bunch of snakes with Zyrus, and then shoot you for two per creature with Perforos. Didn't you just play Zyrus? Uh, no, that was Ben's that was Cyrus. Uh, that was, <laughs> I, I, I hope they're win. Oh my god. <laughs> I think I made a copy of it, and then, yeah, I was able to do some damage. <sighs> Does your Zyrus deck have a name yet? Like a clever name? Mm. And like, are we at that point? Because you've had this for like over a year. Like, this is your fave, right? Or it's yeah. got to be close to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Okay. Yeah. How about this? Mm -hmm. Zyrus take the wheel. <laughs> I like that. That is good. I good. like that yeah. a that lot. That is a good one. Zyrus take the wheel. Yeah. Today's episode is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. Use the promo code WORST at checkout. Get a discount on all of your magic cards and all of your gaming accessories. And today's episode is also brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard has just released a new Sidewinder Xeno Skin Floral Places collection. I got Tulum Blue. I got Miami Pink. And I got Bahia Green. You got a rock. I won the die roll, and I'm gonna kick this thing off strong. Hmm. Draw for turn. Scalding turn. Let's go fetch something cool. I fetched a volcanic island. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Ooh. Mm -hmm. I'm going to play a Mox Diamond. Oh my I'm gonna discard Yavamaya Cradle of Growth, a legendary land to my graveyard. Mm -hmm. And tap these two. I'm going to cast Serenth Steelseeker, one in a green for a one-two. Whenever an artifact enters the battlefield under my control, I can look at the top card of my library. If it's a land, it can go to my hand. If it's not a land, I can leave it on top or I can throw it in the graveyard. You better not have a zero. I'm gonna play a Mox Amber and I'm going to look at my top card. Unbelievable. Oh my God. It's a land, so it goes in my hand. I'm gonna play a Mox Opal. I'm going to look at my top card. <laughs> it is going to stay on top. Hello? Hi. Hi, guys. What the hell, man? How are you doing? 
I'm gonna pass the turn. Was on turn zero though. Storm count <laughs> four. I a turn one, bro. Yeah, this is who we are. Mara's here to. Mara's not messing around this hey. time. Okay. Wow. I will draw for turn. I will play a windswept teeth and crack it. All right, I'm gonna shock in a temple garden, and then I'm gonna really show CGB up here by playing a manifold key, and passing the turn. <laughs> oh God. More I can untapping. untap your artifacts if you want. Please. No. I'm gonna play a Cinder Glade tapped and pass. I will draw. I'm gonna play a Steam Vents tapped and pass. I'll untap, I will draw, play this forest. Let's tap these three, let's cast my commander. It's Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. Noise. Three, four, first strike, reach are the stats. Whenever it attacks, I exile a legendary land or artifact from a graveyard with a discovery counter. I may play one discovery counter card each turn. And raid, I make a treasure token whenever she attacks, or if, whenever I attack. If you millennium calendar this table by taking it from my graveyard. <laughs> oh, is that Ooh, legendary? Oh, it is. Oh, let's uh, get to work. <laughs> you know, it, it seems so upset, Blake, and that manifold key is very threatening. It is good. I am, I am threatened. Play time vault. Let's attack you with the Serent Steel Seeker. Sure. So the raid trigger on that is a treasure token, which will trigger the Steel Seeker. I'll look at my top card. It's a land, it goes to my hand. My God. I'm rolling, baby. Yeah, this is not good. I'm rolling. And, you know, I feel great. I'll pass the turn. I don't feel great. I will untap, draw for turn, command tower, and I will play a Talisman of Progress. That's good. I like Talisman of Progress. It's one of my faves. Thank you. And I'll pass the turn. Untap, draw. Play a Kessig Wolf Run and a Mana Crypt. Oh. I'm gonna tap two to Farseek. Yeah, I got a Bayou, a Leonard tapped. And I'll pass to you, Shane. All right. Untap, draw. I'll play a Misty Rainforest, and then I will go crack it. All right, I grabbed a Tropical Island. The prettiest duel in. Mm. Then I'm gonna tap it for green to cast a Delighted Halfling. Then I'll pass the turn. It's like a surge foil, he did like it. Yeah. End step, uh, let's Mystical Tutor. Does that resolve? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me it does. Mm -hmm. burp, burp, burp. <laughs> I'm gonna reveal this Windfall. Put that on top of my deck. All right, <clears throat> move to my turn. Untaps. Upkeep, draw. Let's play a Mana Crypt. <laughs> let's trigger this Saren Steel Seeker. Let's reveal uh, Minamo School at Water's Edge and put that into my hand. Jeez. Let's play a Training Center that I revealed last turn. Tap for three, let's go for a Windfall. You said you have six cards in hand, Shay? Yep. So does that resolve? Good with me. Yep. That resolves. All right, discard hands, draw up to six. There is a Minamo and an Underworld Breach in my graveyard. Did anybody discard a legendary artifact or a legendary land? No. It's all right. Legendary artifact, no. I did not. Okay. Let's tap five. Let's cast a creature, Orin Frostfang. Attacking mm -hmm. creatures I control have death touch, and whenever a creature I control deals combat damage to a player, I'm going to draw a card. Let's move to combat. Okay. Shay has a blocker. Yeah. So I'll attack the Serenth Steel Seeker at Blake, and Lara Croft Tomb Raider at Ben. I do have an attack trigger with Lara Croft. Uh, I'm going to target the Minamo School at Water's Edge in my graveyard to be exiled with a discovery counter. So, Ben. What? He's got he's got mana. There's yeah. stuff. lots of mana. Things are happening. I think the, so. So the only thing we can really we can really like bottleneck him on is cards. Sure. Okay. Thanks for what? agreeing with me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pay a life for Talisman of Progress, and I'm gonna Path to Exile your Orin Frostfang. Ooh, Path to Exile the Frostfang. And this is in response to the Lara Croft trigger. Understood. Um, yeah, uh, that will resolve. I'll <laughs> Exile Orin Frostfang. I'll get a uh, basic mountain onto the battlefield tapped. So I'll shuffle up there, any blocks, or are you guys uh, taking your damage? Yep, no, no blocks. blocks. All right, one for Blake, three for Ben. Raid trigger. After combat, I'll now have two treasures. 
land under the, or artifact enter the battlefield, trigger the Steel Seeker. Let's put the Mind Slaver in the graveyard. And uh, I can't play it this turn because I already played a land. All right, I guess after that, I'll pass to Blake. All right, I'm gonna untap, draw for turn. I'm gonna play an Urza Saga. Now we'll tick to one. I'm going to use it to cast a spell that was very kindly put into my hand by my good friend CGB, and that would be the Millennium Calendar. Da -da! Da -da -da -da! Oh my God, it's I here. Know. Wow. Exciting. Well. So then I am gonna pass. Okay. I'll untap. Roll for crit. Odds is damage. Dang it. <laughs> damage it is. All right, drop. Play a swamp for turn. I'll tap three for Fane the Broker. He's got a lot of abilities, a three three. I can sacrifice a creature, put two one one counters on target creature. I can tap and remove a counter from a creature and create a treasure token. Or I can tap and sacrifice an artifact and create a 2-1 black and white inkling creature token. Or I can pay for it and untap him. Yeah, I'll tap my bayou for an ignoble hierarch. And I'll pass the shade. Okay. I'm gonna untap and draw. All right, I'm gonna play a Scalding Tarn as my land for turn. 20, 20, 20, 20. 20. Yeah, we have the same one. Wow. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, I'm gonna crack that immediately. Volcanic Island. No. Well, <laughs> well, maybe, actually. Okay, and with the Scalding Tarn, I grabbed a Volcanic Island. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Then I will pay three to cast a Jace's Archivist, uh, which allows me to pay a blue and tap. Each player discards his or her hand, and draws cards equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. More wheels. More wheels. <clears throat> And that concludes my turn. I'll pass to CGB. Woohoo! Don't you know you're supposed to have 40 mana? <laughs> I still have my stuff. Yeah, this is wild. This is great. This is wild. We getting in, in those tombs, baby. All right, <laughs> let's roll for crypt. Odds are damage. It's damage. Move to combat. Go for it. Blake's already got half as worse as possible out. He actually does. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Ben! <laughs> Low key. Nice one, Ben. And you gave Low it to him. <laughs> Attack yourself. <Yeah. laughs> He's not wrong. <laughs> I mean, he made me discard two ways to go get it, so. so yeah. <laughs> and then you drew into one and the thing. Yes. Yeah, you're right. He has the worst, he, he, his worst possible is almost online. So I will attack Blake with Serent Steel Seeker and Shay with Lara Croft Tomb Raider. <gasps> I have no blocks. And I shan't forget this betrayal. Uh, no blocks, though. A whopping one damage. I'll take it. Uh, but I do have a trigger. I'm going to exile Mind Slaver with a discovery counter. Mm. Uh, 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 I'll take uh, three uh, damage. And I will get the raid trigger, because it's a Tomb Raider, uh, mm. triggering the Steel Seeker. Do you get it, because it's raid? I will leave this card on top. Mm. My jokes are mine, Blake. Mm. <laughs> I will play City of Brass as my land for turn, and I think you know what that means. I will attempt to cast Mind Slaver because it has a discovery counter. Does that resolve, Blake? Yeah, that's fine. Ben? No worries. Yeah, about I'm good. Shay? <laughs> yeah. I will trigger the Saren Steel Seeker. I will leave the card there because I know what it is. And I will pass to Blake. No rush. No rush with this Mind Slaver. We're chilling. Slave mines anytime you want, you know? Yep, we're chilling. Can be activated at instant speed. Any of you could be my puppet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, at the end of your turn, mm -hmm. I'm gonna tap Talisman of Progress. And with that mana, I'm gonna use Manifold Key to untap the Talisman of Progress. And then I'm gonna go to my turn. <clears throat> no floaties or nothing? All right, yeah, do your thing. You could mind slaver me. I could. I gotta keep. Oh! I gotta keep stifle oh, up. Oh, you gotta keep stifle up. Sure. I see, I see you. All right, I'm gonna untap, and since I only untap two permanents from my untap step, I will get two counters on the calendar. It begins. I will draw for turn. I will tick Urza Saga to two. I'll play a Bountiful Promenade. And I'm flooded, so I'm gonna pass. Totally. Mm. Okay, I'll untap. Man of Crypt. Damn. Draw for turn. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> 
<laughs> Easy, Ben. Yeah. I'm gonna tap my Bayou and my Mana Crypt for a Scoot Swarm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm play my land for turn and make an insect. There's my separately insect, just an insect. Tap my Cinder Glade to give Fane sticky fingers. <laughs> cool. I will go to combat. CGB. Yo. Menace 3-3, three, three, coming at you. You've got it. I'll take the three. Because I did damage, I'll make a treasure token. Okay, I'll make that treasure token. And I'll tap my Ignoble Hierarch, sacrifice a treasure token. And tap one more to play Felden of the Fir Third Path. Get to copy stuff, creatures from my graveyard. Pass to you, Shay. Felden's a cool card. Untap, <clears throat> draw, forest as my land for turn. Then I'm gonna tap five to cast Zyrus in the house. <laughs> yeah. How, ex yeah. <laughs> how exciting. How exciting. Uh, and that's my turn. You know how people say, what's up? Zyrus is up, because he's got flying. <laughs> and, he's, and he's a snake, he's, he's creeping on your ceiling, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and I have a rock. <laughs> Is it really that funny? I thought it was kind of stupid. That's why we're laughing. That's why. Oh, you didn't man. just say a paragon of jokes. It was just so funny. The way you said it. so dumb. We were, like, we were expecting it to be like something clever. You're like, because he has flying. <laughs> Well, well it kind of looks like he's he on the ceiling. You know how people say what's up? Yeah. Like the most common yeah. <laughs> phrase in existence. Because yeah. oh, most man. people say the ceiling, you know, and, and it's like he's probably Zyrus. there. Because <laughs> he can fly. <laughs> we're bringing it, we're making this. Okay, I'll, I'll go home now. <laughs> then you've been mind slaver. <laughs> Well, I only have one card in my hand. So. Sounds fun. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Looking forward to it. <laughs> what if we replace Ben with the rock? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. My turn. <laughs> oh, you mind slavered him? I did. You yeah, did. That was real. Sure okay. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> Roll for Mana Crypt. Odds are damage. Ha. Boom. <laughs> So you just have control of my next turn. Is I do. Okay. That's how that works. Okay. I do. That is actually how it works. I do. I'm going to try to go to combat. Go ahead. I'm going to attack Blake with Lara Croft Tomb Raider. Attack trigger, I'm going to target Mind Slaver in my graveyard. Sure. All right, Mind Slaver is exiled with a discovery counter. Uh, no blocks. Three damage. Raid trigger, I will make a treasure and trigger the Steel Seeker. I will put a Ledger Shredder in my graveyard. Man, our card has been worth its weight in gold. The card's amazing. Yeah, it's good. I like it. It's so good, I want to trigger it again. <laughs> Sir? I'm going to cast Mind Slaver. Wow. Okay. Does that resolve? Sure thing, pal. Yep. Yeah. Trigger Steel Seeker. Uh... I will put Shadow Spear in my graveyard. Pretty Tomb Raider art. I'll play Ottawara, Soaring City, as my land. I'll cast everybody's favorite monkey. It's Ragavan, Nimble Pilfer. Whoa. And I'll pass the turn. All right, at the end of your turn, I'm going to double the number of counters on the Millennium Calendar to four. Oh, man. I know. You're getting there. Sure am. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to my turn. I'm going to untap. I untapped three things, so I'll go to seven. I will draw for turn, and then Urza's Saga will do its Saga thing. Before it does, I will tap it for a colorless mana. I got a Soul Ring. I will double the counters on a Millennium Calendar with my one floating and my Talisman. I'm gonna play Island for turn, and then I'm gonna pass the turn. Ben, let's go. I get to roll for Ben's Mana Crypt. Oh my goodness. So I am going to roll, it's a three, which apparently is what I'm really good at rolling, and odds are damage. <laughs> Three is, three is the number. Three is the number of the damage we'd be taking. All right, uh, Ben, draw your card. And hand those over here. 
Uh-huh. You want to sit over here? Nope. <laughs> okay. No, I'll just tell you what to do. You cool with that? Yeah, that's fine. All right. Ben, tap your mana crypt. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Ben, tap Fane the Broker and sacrifice your mana crypt. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, you get a 2-1 uh, black and white inkling token with flying. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Ben, use that two mana in your mana pool and your swamp and your forest to untap Fane. Okay. Ben, tap Fane the broker. Oh boy. Sacrifice your scoot swarm. No. Put two plus one plus one counters on Laura Croft. Here we go. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Wow. Ben, uh, use your ignoble hierarch and your remaining lands to untap Fane. Okay. Then tap Fane, sacrifice itself. Put two plus one plus one counters on Ragavan, Nimble Pilfer. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll draw a card off Sticky Fingers. You, uh, you will, you will. Or we'll Here. CGB ass you. Yeah, Thank you. you. <laughs> ben slash CGB, since you drew a card off of the Sticky Fingers, I'm gonna make a snake. Ben, attack Blake with your untapped creatures. <laughs> okay, Blake. We got a Felden and a 1-1 one, one Insect coming at you for three total. No blocks. That's all. That's uh, that. That's what I got for you. Oh, wait. There's one more thing, Ben. In your end step, I'm going to target you with Intuition. I'm going to search my library for any three cards, and an opponent, you in this case, is going to choose which one goes in my hand and but, which two go in the graveyard. But you get to choose because it's I have your no idea. turn. I'm assuming. Oh, my God. Is that resolve? Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. <laughs> Mm -hmm. All right, Ben, I have selected the Reaver Cleaver, the One Ring, and Aggravated Assault. Oh, that seems pretty good. Yeah, I'm going to put Aggravated Assault in my hand because I'm you. And right. these two legendary artifacts will go to my graveyard. Oh, okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, now you're done. You're welcome. I didn't thank you. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> well, thank yourself, really. You know? I Ben, your sequencing that turn was horrible. I know, dude. I gotta get better at this, you know? At least I have an untapped creature, you know? You do. Okay. Unlike me. Shay, go ahead. Okay. You know, because my turn's over. Yeah. I will untap. Draw. I'm gonna look for some answers to try to deal with CGB, so let's set myself up for that with a Teferi's Ageless Insight. Oh, not that. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna move to combat. Who would like to draw some cards? <coughs> I would. I would love to. Me? <laughs> you are excluded, CGB. Yeah, nerd. I think it's a better <laughs> idea for Blake to draw cards because he's blue. You think? I'm actually that in a good mood, but yeah. I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, not, you I know. know. Screw the damage, just draw cards, right? I've been saying <laughs> screw the damage for about 13 <laughs> life now, so yep. <laughs> you can hit me, I, I would appreciate it. Okay. Thanks, Ben. That's what a good friend. Yeah, that's very we're, we're team here against the ultimate evil, right? <laughs> True. Uh, okay, so moving to combat, I'm going to send Zyrus to Blake. I will path that. <laughs> 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 I love that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no blocks. I'll take three. Awesome. And we'll each draw three. Well, I'll actually draw six, but yeah, you'll draw three. How do you feel now? Not as cool. Not as cool. Uh, okay, uh, I'm gonna make three snakes, because you drew three cards. All right, I'm gonna play a forest as my land for turn. Then I'll pay two and cast a thought vessel. I'm gonna pass my turn to CGB. On my end step, I'll take one damage from City of Brass, sack some treasures, and sacrifice Mind Slaver. I'm gonna target Blake. Um. I will respond with a Teferi's Protection. Oh, that, okay. Nice. Teferi's Protection. I mean, he's just gonna reanimate and do it again, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> super fun. I, I, can't, I can't blast. get to him. <laughs> can't get to him. Uh, so you leaving? Bye. I, I, I no response. Um, before I do, I'm gonna float three mana and cast an Eladomri's Call. Ooh, okay. All right, I will put a Seedborn Muse into my hand. And then I'm gone. Bye-bye. Mm. Uh, go to my turn, upkeep. 
We will roll for Z mana crypt. Odds are damage. Hey! First one. Not this time. <laughs> not this time. I feel like threes are damage. Still upkeep. Gonna pay two life and cast Noxious Revival. I'm going to target the Reaver Cleaver. Move to draw step. I'm gonna draw the Reaver Cleaver. All right, here comes Reaver Cleaver. Legendary equipment. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus one trample. Whenever this deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, create that many treasures. <sighs> Grody. All right, tap three. I'm gonna cast, or equip the Reaver Cleaver to my commander, Lara Croft Tomb Raider. When Reaver Cleaver enters the battlefield, I'll trigger the Steel Seeker, and I will put a Diligent Excavator into the graveyard. I will move to combat, and I will attack Ben with Lara Croft and Ragavan, Nimble Pilfer. On the attack, I will exile the One Ring from my graveyard with a Discovery Counter. And they're coming at you, Ben. I will block the monkey. All Ragavan. right. Ragavan will kill the Inkling. <laughs> and you will take six, uh, you will take six commander damage and I will make six treasures plus a raid trigger. That will be seven Steel Seeker triggers. I'll put Stomping Ground in my hand. I'll put Soul Cauldron in the graveyard. I'll put Birds of Paradise in the graveyard. I'll put Sokenzin in my hand. I'll put Talisman in the graveyard. I'll put Jace in the graveyard. I'll put Jeweled Lotus in the graveyard. I will cast Aggravated Assault. If that resolves. You did. Uh, yeah. Yep. I will pay five treasures, going down to three, to untap all my creatures and create an additional combat step. Yikes. Go to the next combat. Ben, I attack you. This is going, I will use Lara Croft's trigger to exile the Shadow Spear with a Discovery Counter. Uh, total damage is 11 and it's six more commander. Okay, I'll block with my face. <laughs> Good block. <laughs> Down to 11. I'll make seven total more treasures because of the raid trigger. Seven Steel Seeker triggers. I'll put Blasphemous Act in the yard. I'll put Gamble in the yard. I'll put Wooded Foothills in the hand. I'll put Snap in the yard. I'll put Urza Saga in the hand. I'll put Gemstone Caverns in the hand. I'll put Talisman in the yard. We gotta mill him out. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> mill him. <laughs> All part of my master plan. Uh, let's see, I will create another combat. That makes sense. Ben, I will attack you for 11. Lara Croft will exile with a discovery counter, Agatha Soul Cauldron. But that's how much life I have. Yeah, I know, it's pretty sad. <laughs> no! The Ragavan trigger, I'll just take the treasure since Ben is leaving the game, the exile card doesn't matter. So ben is leaving the game, what a political way to say you murdered him. <laughs> I, he has, ben has taken a chosen oh, exit, a resignation if you will. He, he's just leaving Don't the worry, game. Don't worry, I'll be right back. I'm gonna make, get eight more Steel Seeker uh, things. Um, I'm just gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No lands there. <laughs> I will, guess what, pay uh, for an extra combat, untap my creatures, Shay. Yeah. Ah, Cyrus. You didn't let me draw cards, Cyrus. I just <laughs> wanted to draw cards. Lara Croft coming at you. Six, seven, trample first strike. Six, seven, trample first strike. That's hard to block. <laughs> That's really hard to block. Uh, okay. CGB, I uh, I think I know how this is gonna go. It's not gonna end well for you. No, it really isn't. So, uh, to give Blake a chance, what if I conceded? Yeah, I get it. You're, uh, you're cool with that? I'd be cool with that. Okay. Yep, That's I understand. I, I, I too would concede if uh, Lara came dashing at me repeatedly in an aggravated rage with a reaver cleaver. <laughs> I killed my friend Ben, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it blasted me out to space. Look at that. 
Now, last time I played this deck, it came down to me and you. It did. <gasps> it did end as well for me as I'd hoped. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how it goes this time. I'm feeling better about this one. It's fair. <laughs> feeling better about this one. I'm not even here. I don't even why you're talking to me. I have multiple triggers because I attacked multiple times with Lara, so I can play multiples of these cards. I definitely started at least four combats. So I'm going to play Minamal School at Water's Edge as my land for turn. I'll tap one, and I think that uh, Lara has found her spear, or Totex spear to be precise, because <laughs> that is gorgeous. Uh, Steel Seeker trigger, because I have had a lot of those. I'll keep that on top. I'll pay four treasures, and I will cast the one ring, and gaining protection from everything until my next turn. So trigger on the stack, I will tap the one ring for a bird encounter, and draw a card with this trigger on the stack. Then I will resolve the trigger. I will put a search for Azkanta in a cool Heart of the Explorer uh, Tomb Raider styling into the graveyard and break my own heart. <laughs> <laughs> I will use two treasures to cast Agatha's Soul Cauldron, trigger the Steel Seeker. I will put a Edoros, capital of Rohan, AKA Hammerheim into my oh. hand. I will move to my end step and I will discard Urza Saga and Hammerheim. All right, Mr. Not Around for the Carnage. Let's I'm see back. what you got. Well, what happened while I was gone? Um, have a look. <laughs> yeah. I gotta say, that was a that was a well timed to Fury's Protection. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I will go to 21 counters on the calendar. All right, I'm gonna pay five for a Seedborn Muse. I'm gonna spend two and use the Millennium Calendar to double the number of counters to 42. Um, and then I will pass the turn to my evil friend. Yeah, uh, I'm, just, I'm just gonna yeah, Cyclonic it. Rift yeah, you got it. Muse. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. <laughs> oh, it's filthy. Filthy. Oh, Laura. <laughs> Laura came for blood, she got it. Wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, deck is going to now retire to the, spi <laughs> the all-time spiker tables. <laughs> GGCGB. -G Appreciate you guys taking the yeah, brutal, brutal punishment that uh, is uh, this uh, Human Ranger's mission here uh, to find really the sweetest legendary artifacts of all and drag them up for all of you. We'll be back in a second with our CoolStuffInc.com card of the game. And we are back for the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game, and uh, I, I'm the worst. I just want <laughs> I, I, this is I put it on record. I almost gave my CoolStuffInc.com card of the game the credit card for the Mox Diamond. <laughs> I don't know if that's tasteless. I don't even know if that's gonna make it in the episode. But at the end of the day, I'll go with Reaver Cleaver. Uh, I did the Reaver Cleaver worst possible combo with Aggravated yeah. Assault. Yep. Uh, I could also give it to Intuition, which would also go with the credit card theme. <laughs> um, I have never, ever mind slavered someone and in Intuition them before. <laughs> I would, I do feel bad. Not a lot. I've done nasty, deplorable things in my 30 years of magic. I feel a little bad about that one. Well, well, I'm so glad that I doesn't could. feel right. That feels like I did something that wasn't supposed to happen. So uh, when our worst possible involves like more than four cards, we call it a Shea worst possible. But we've never had a Shea card of the game. I'm gonna say <laughs> this was your card of the game. <laughs> it was just all of the fast mana and all the all the good stuff. Yes, I don't even know if you played a lot of those cards. But <laughs> sure felt like you did. When my hand went. Bleh. Yes, precisely. <laughs> it, it was the most insane open. I've ever yeah, seen. It, was sick. it had Mox Opal, Mox Amber, and Mox Diamond. It's a good one. I oh my god. Yeah. Hey, it was a sick game, man. <laughs> it was a uh, battle. She's retiring. She's done. She raided the tomb. She found what she needed. She's going home. Blake, uh, what's your card of the game? Mine Save was me. the super well timed to fairies protection. I super well timed. Just pat myself on the back. <laughs> wow, I really played the crap out of that card. <laughs> there are some games you just want to leave. Yes, that was me. I wish I had more Teferi's protections, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> it's too bad it exiles. If only I we know. could loop that, right? I, know. Mm. I actually have a card that gets it out of exile in my deck. Whoa. It's normally for the Millennium Calendar, but hey. Mm. Ben. 
<laughs> ben. Oh, ben, I'm sorry. Ben, Carter. Don't even, don't even look at him. Look at me. I had a pal. Uh huh. His name was Fane. <laughs> but he, uh, he betrayed me. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't, he didn't, he's like, I don't like this creature. I don't like that mana crypt. I don't like myself. And he went away. <laughs> because. Someone slaved my mind. Yeah. <laughs> what Just, can you do? What was it like being in Ben's head? Hands. Was it incredible being there in Ben's head? There wasn't that much there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I felt what it noise. was like to just have a rock, you know, <laughs> instead of a deck box. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was it was probably just physics, right? Yeah, it was, it was like, like the beautiful oh, mind. There's just the nothing there the because you like didn't understand yeah, it from you know? like yeah, yeah from Hangover. That's that that's why it was like nothing like to me because it was just. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ben was too smart that you felt like he was dumb because he was so much smarter than you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it was that five head power, you know. Yeah. Like the, yeah. I love you, Ben. I'm sorry. Well, can you forgive me? Oh, for what? Exactly. <laughs> Shay, card of the game. Uh, yeah, my cards of the game were the Fierce Guardianship and the Cyclonic Rift that were in my opening hand that were windfalled away before I could play them. Oh, they would have been so useful <laughs> against like all of the things that you were doing. It would have been so useful. It's true. Uh, but I didn't get the chance. Didn't get the chance. <clears throat> mm, that, that's so sad. <laughs> it is. In my defense, you know, there's always that one guy on Reddit or in comments, right? Run more interaction. That's all. That's all. That's all I was going to do. Is it time to go? <laughs> yeah, I think. Well, folks, thanks so much for watching. A big thank you to our sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com. Use promo code WORST at checkout to show some love for the show. Also, a thank you to Ultimate Guard. They have those awesome Xeno Sidewinder uh, floral print deck boxes that are incredible. Huge thank you to them. We love their sleeves. That's all from us. From On behalf of my friends, Ben Shea, and then also CGB as well in a separate category. <laughs> You're cool. cool. <laughs>